I got a call from a colleague who asked if I'd heard about the school being under lockdown. I saw on my phone that I had gotten a text from my youngest daughter that she was safe, and uh, I didn't hear from Carmen. That night, the FBI told my husband and I that Carmen was one of the deceased. It's the hardest day of my life. One hundred people die from gunshot wounds every single day. We can't go 24 hours without news of another mass shooting somewhere in America. And this body does nothing about it. I don't want to see their smug faces about how much they care about law enforcement when I'm burying a sergeant because they don't want to piss off the NRA. Make up your minds. Whose side are you on? Government leaders in Washington state have had the courage to step up and speak out, whereas others in Washington, D.C. are afraid Weapons of war like this should not be in our neighborhoods, they shouldn't be in our Walmarts, they shouldn't be on the streets of America. I do not believe any congressman's or politician's seat is more important than any child's life, and I fundamentally believe that. I sacrifice my son, and I need them to sacrifice more to help protect the kids that are still here. Carmen's no longer here with us. She no longer has a voice, so I'm going to use my voice as long as I can.